Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Saga and if you're new here, I'm a graduate from aerospace engineering but now working as a software engineer in London and in this video what I want to address is how much maths do you actually need to know in your aerospace engineering degree? See I've been asked many a times like how good at maths do you have to be to do this degree? How you know, do I need to be really smart at maths if I want to study aerospace engineering and, and questions of that sort. So today I'm going to challenge myself by doing the exact same maths exam I did in my first year at university today. And basically we'll just see how much I know from that first exam. So I guess this is me putting um, the money where my mouth is pretty much because I've always said that you have to be reasonably good at maths to do well in this degree. So let's see if what I say is actually true. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took- Yeah, so for this question, um, I kind of forgot what domain is initially. Um, and then I kind of realized that it's basically supposed to be what values of x is valid for this function um but i think one of the other things that i forgot was how you actually write the notation for what a domain of a function is so the reason why um the what well, x can't be three is because if x is three then you kind of have like a an invalid input in a sense where you'd have three minus three at the bottom of a fraction, which makes it something over zero. And that's like a, an undefined thing. So that's why it's like an illegal thing in maths. So this ne next part of um, the question is basically to try and invert the original function. Um, and the way you do that is by setting f of x equal to y and basically rearranging so that you end up with x as the subject um, and once you have that you know that all the y terms you make them back into an x and then you say that uh, f of inverse x equals the function that you end up having like so and then you have to figure out the domain of f uh, inverse x so the next question is just a, a straightforward like differentiation question yeah so i decided to expand the brackets just to make it easier to to do the differentiation and then i uh, factorize the e to the x I hit record a jump, you can't ignore it. So this question, question three, is to use L'Hopital's rule. Um, I know that you have to differentiate something, um, either the top or the bottom in this. However, I wasn't sure as to what the actual method was. Um, I understand what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to make it easier to figure out the limit of that function. It's just I couldn't remember the, the rule at the time. Do a meet, bro. Make a noise, use a beat. So yeah, the next the next um, question is to derive the Euler's formula, um, but it says by using the Taylor series, um, and again, it's another method that I couldn't remember um, since I just haven't used it in so long. Um, I did something else, which was to, I guess, prove the left-hand side equals right-hand side approach, but I don't think that was the correct method since I didn't really apply the Taylor series method. So I know that cos x and sine x um, can be expressed in terms of these sort of fractions of exponentials um, and then sort of equate to the two, but yeah, I don't think that's the right method. Yeah, so this is another question which I fully didn't know how to answer. Um, but the, the method I took to approach solving it was to uh, try and square both sides um, because those those straight lines mean you have to find a modulus of something, which is in essence finding the square root after you square like the real and imaginary part of it. Um, 
So I decided to square it out and I believe this is the way you go about doing it but then I sort of got lost and confused in terms of what I actually needed to do. Yeah, this is just me trying to cancel some terms out. Hopefully, it stuff simplifies. No deal to my lawyer, though. If you're down in my management, I'm just warming up a way to lie. Oh, producer saw the numbers one. Different colors in my baggy light. Chalk it up. I'm sure if I practice these sort of questions, I'll be able to do them again. Because I remember, like, these sort of questions went pretty straightforward when I was doing my exam back in uh, first year. Move up and move humble cuz they hate in the jealousy. My mama telling me, count up your blessings and run it up. Nowadays, nothing really is ice cream. Only one of me and nobody like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's ice. I got wifey, you don't blink your sheet. Ice cream, free, free, photo, photo, please, no photo. All right, so the next question, um, is pretty straightforward it's an easy question i think the only reason why i'm not sure if i completed it correctly is because um, i couldn't remember off the top of my head how to do cross products of a, a vector um i if i def if i've googled how to do cross products the question would be straightforward because all you have to do is create three different equations um and then figure out what a and b are through basically having simultaneous equations more or less try you out and then they line you up Ooh. Now you're looking hungry, ribs are touching, need some food Now you're all on live, acting surprised, but you was fooled Boy, get out the way, it's been a day, now you're old news Now you got the pen and pad, you're trying to take my moves Nowadays, nothing really is ice cream Only one of me and nobody's like me Phone ringing and I tell them it's ice I got wifey, you on blingin' sheet Ice cream. Freeze, Free. photo, photo, please, please. no photos No, no, Jeez. Jeez. no, 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 please, no photos Okay, and this last question is all to do with, um basically an integration using substitution. Um, I found these questions probably the most annoying because you just have, there's so many steps to it. And um, I think one of the main things is that I just really couldn't remember the full method of how you would um, do this sort of thing, especially in terms of like, what does um, cosh squared minus whatever integrate to? Well, um, I guess it clearly shows that uh, you have to be pretty good at maths to um, do this paper. I mean, I didn't even finish it, to be honest, because, well, I didn't see a point. Most of the questions I was seeing, I was like, well, I have no idea what's going on because, I mean, I learned this stuff, what, like four years ago or something? Um, and to be honest, I think it's weird because the only reason why I don't know half of this stuff, right, is because we didn't actually use a lot of it in our day-to-day -day aerospace engineering course. So I feel as though you have to be really good at maths, but only for like in your first and second year, because after that you don't really use like complex maths like um, I've been doing in this paper here. So yeah, I think um, if, if you were to question yourself whether or not maths is a really important thing to get into aerospace engineering, I would say yes. Um, given the fact you can't just rock up one day and was like decide you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt this maths paper no you have to actually be on on top of it and revise and know your maths quite well if you want to do well in these sort of exams because like myself I haven't revised any of this in probably three four years time and I'm doing this paper and I don't know half the stuff that's going on to be honest I mean I, I understand what it's asking me to do um, I'm aware of the methods I just don't remember all, like how to do the methods to be honest I'm sure like if you were to revise though um, for this exam you pretty you'll do fairly well because the questions like on the surface level are relatively straightforward and they're just proven methods you have to just apply again and again but um, honestly it's I'd say yeah maths is pretty crucial as you can see because half of these questions um, I was pretty much writing I don't know if I did it correctly or if the method is right so yeah I would say maths is very important. I know you're probably wanting to see the rest of the paper, so I'll scroll through it now so you can have a look at all the questions there are. So in total, there are about like, how many questions in total? It's like eight for section B and then 12 for section A. So there's a good uh, 20 questions in total, um, all varying in marks and the whole exam is three hours. And this is the exact exam that I sat in my first year of university um, and I believe in that module um, well I know I got a first class in that module um, so clearly 
At the time, I knew what I was doing. Right now, I don't even think I would get a first if I did this maths exam again. So um, yeah, I definitely say you have to be on top of your maths when you're at university. And also if you're doing um, A-level maths, then you, if you've done further maths as well, that's gonna help you out a lot. Um, and ultimately, yeah, if, if you're in doubt whether or not maths is really a required skill, um, to do aerospace engineering, I would say yes it is. And this pretty much, this experiment, I suppose, proves it. Because you can't just sit a maths exam that is for aerospace students just um, whenever you want. So there we have it. Hope you enjoyed this little exciting sort of test style, you know, hypothesis testing video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, do like, subscribe and comment down below what your thoughts are on um, maths, whether or not you like maths, whether you enjoy it, whether you find it difficult. If you find it difficult, why do you find it difficult? Um, and also, yeah, let us know how, um, wh what do you think you would uh, get on this test if you were to sit in today? So if you want to know the other subjects that I studied whilst at university studying aerospace engineering, do check out this other video. I'll link it somewhere here. So go check that out and uh, thanks for watching guys. See you in another one.